The tenth day of Christmas, let the lords do the leaping. Today is Mother's Night. It's based on an ancient uh, tradition called Modern Night in the Anglo-Saxon tradition. And it honors uh, women. It's a day to honor those uh, roles that have provided all of the food and all of the comfort that you've been enjoying for the previous nine days of Christmas. In some families, this role is reversed. It's the father who does the cooking and the cleaning. Uh, in that case, it's his day to take a break and let somebody else do the cooking and the cleaning for the time being. Originally, this pagan holiday was celebrated on December 25th, much to the chagrin of the clergy who eventually arrived on British shores. It is said to honor a trio of goddesses, a motif that is repeated all throughout ancient Europe. Ancient Vikings would practice a similar celebration called Disablot, which was a day to honor powerful female deities uh, like the Valkyries and other fairies and spirits. Swedish legend tells of a woman named Disa from antiquity. Uh, the king had decided to sacrifice all the sick and elderly people to Odin that year. She demanded to speak with him, uh, and he agreed as long as she didn't arrive during the morning or the evening, during the daytime or the nighttime, uh, on a horse or not on a horse, clothed or unclothed, and several other uh, stipulations. So she arrived uh, with one foot on a horse at dusk and the other foot on a goat and wearing a net and uh, abided by all of his unreasonable requests and he agreed to see her. She convinced him to not make the sacrifice to Odin that year and uh, saved many, many people's lives. This could be seen as an allegory for the unreasonable expectations put on women in patriarchal societies and the incredible wit and boldness required to navigate them. The celebration of Disablot still survives in Sweden today with the annual Dissing Market which could have influenced the Christmas markets that we know today. During the holidays, many Swedish and Norwegian families enjoy a dish called lefse, which is a potato-based crepe, as well as uh, delicate snowflake-shaped cookies called rosettes. It's traditional to give homemade gifts on this day, but if you don't have time or energy at this point to make something, feel free to just write a few words of good tidings on a card for your loved ones.